today I'm going to show you how to do another arm knit tutorial. This one is going to be using the garter stitch. Normally I show you um, just the regular knit stitch. Uh, but you can do different stitches and today I'm going to show you the garter stitch. With the garter stitch, um, you shouldn't have any curling on the edges. Also both sides of the scarf or the blanket, whatever you make, will look the same. Um, so anyway, let's get right into it. It's very simple. The yarn that I'm going to be using today is this Premier Yarns Mega Tweed Super Bulky Yarn. And as you can see, they say it's perfect for arm knitting. They're using one strand in the picture, but I'm still going to use two. This comes with 74 yards. Um, which is a 170 grams or 68 meters and it's 97% acrylic and 3% viscose. Is that how you say that? I'm not sure. It is a super bulky number six yarn. All right, so like I said, I'm going to pull out a strand from each end. That way I can do two strands at one time. So let's see, we have this one. Okay, so I have my two strands, and they didn't make it very easy to pull out the strand from the middle, so I have a big pile of yarn over here. Hopefully it doesn't get too tangled. So the first thing you want to do is pull out a long tail of yarn. Okay, I'd say about three feet. And then we're going to make our slip knot. So you're going to drape the yarn over your hand, pinch the two together, twist, and then grab that working yarn and tighten it up. Slip that right onto your right arm. And then we're going to begin to cast on. So this is the tricky part. To cast on, you're going to, let's see, this is the tail here. We'll call this the tail. And this is the one that's attached to the ball of yarn. So this is the working yarn. So we are going to take the working yarn, put it in between your pointer and middle finger, and grab it um, on the palm of your hand with your pinky and ring finger, okay? And the working yarn, you are going to take it and wrap it around your thumb, just like that, and also put it under your pinky and your ring finger. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense to you guys. I know it's kind of tricky at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's very simple. So now to cast on your first, your second stitch, this one counts as your first stitch. So to cast on your second stitch, you're going to take your right hand, you're going to go under that first piece there, over the second one, okay, over the third one, and then under it, and through that hole there, and pull it, pull it kind of snug. You're going to want to keep this pretty tight on your arm, because the looser it is, or the more loose it is, then the bigger the holes are going to be. So let's do that again. Wrap your yarn around your fingers the way I showed you. Take your right hand, go under over, over, and then back under. So under this one, over those two, and then you're gonna go under that back one and through that hole and pull it. And that's three stitches. And do that again. Under, over, over, and under that back one and through that hole. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four stitches. So I'm to move the yarn out of the way there. Do that again. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. nine, and we'll do 10. 
You want to make sure you have a little bit of that tail left because if it's too short, it's going to end up just unraveling. So now we have our 10 stitches on our right arm and now we want to begin knitting. So we're all done with the tail and now we're going to move on to using the working yarn by itself. So the difference between knitting the knit stitch and the garter stitch is with the garter stitch you are moving the working yarn from the front to the back um, on different rows. So on this first row we're going to keep it in the front. So what you're going to do is um, grab the working yarn with your right hand and hold it. Take that first stitch on your right wrist, pull it off and over and now you have this new loop here. You're going to turn that towards yourself and slip it onto your left, <clears throat> your left um, arm. Um, to tighten the first stitch is kind of tricky. You're going to have to pull on that working yarn while pushing this knot up and do that a couple times. Okay. So onto your next stitch. Grab it again with your right hand. Take that next stitch, pull it off and over, and slip it onto your left hand. And again, off and over, slip it onto your left hand. Keep it tight, as tight as you can. Next stitch, off and over. Remember to turn it towards yourself and put it on your left hand. Next one. And the last stitch, go ahead and pull that last one over turn that towards yourself and put it on your left arm. So that was our first row. And try to remember where you had that working yarn um, on each row so you don't get them mixed up. So on that one it was in the, it was in the front. And now we're going to move the working yarn to the back. So to do this next row, hold the working yarn in your left hand. Take that first stitch, pull it over, and turn it towards yourself and put it onto your right arm. Now see, I'm gonna take this working yarn and we're gonna hold it in the back this time. So it's kind of tricky, but go ahead and push that knot up to tighten that first one there. You may have to kind of use your hand just like that. Okay, we're gonna hold that in our left hand again and notice how it's in the back, it's closer to you. So hold that in your left hand, pull that next stitch over, and put that onto your right arm. And tighten that up, and again, keeping this tail or the working yarn in the back. This is what's going to make the garter stitch look. Pull that next strand over, or stitch, put it onto your right arm. Okay, next stitch. stitch, tighten it up. And remember to try to keep this as tight as you can while you're working. I know it's going to be tough because it's going to get kind of tight on your arm, but the tighter it is, the better it looks. It won't look as straggly. And go all the way to the end of that row. So that makes two rows done. Okay, that's two rows. It doesn't look like much, but you'll be able to see that this will start to look like the garter stitch. So, so on this next row, the third row, we're going to keep the working yarn in the back, or actually in the front away from you. 
sorry if that's confusing you'll get it as you go so take that working yarn in your right hand pull that stitch over turn it towards yourself and put it onto your left arm and then tighten that up hold it in your right hand keeping that working yarn in front of your work So as you can see, doing the stitch this way, it's making these rows, and that's called the garter stitch. So we're going to keep going. This time, keep the yarn, the working yarn closer to you. Hold it in your left hand, pull that stitch over, turn it towards yourself, put it onto your right arm and remember to keep the working yarn closer to you this time. Tighten that up. Okay, and that was our fourth row. So hopefully you understand it by now. If not, watch that part of the video over again. I'm going to go ahead and keep knitting. And once I come back, I'll let you know how many rows I knit. But remember to keep switching um, from having the working yarn in the front of your work to having it in the back of your work. And that's what will create this garter stitch look. And when I'm done, I'll show you the finished product. I'll be right back. So I just finished knitting my 16th row, and this is what we have. I'm only making this long enough to wrap around once, um, but if you wanted to make it long enough to wrap around twice, I would suggest buying two balls of yarn or just using one strand. But if you use one strand, it's going to have larger holes than this one has. Um, this one is nice and nice and full, as you can see. So, I finished knitting my 16th row. I'm going to do one more onto my left arm, and then we're going, going to bind off or end your scarf. So, let's do this last row. And my last row is ending with the yarn in the front. So to bind off, what we're going to do is hold the working yarn in your left hand and you can just bind off with the yarn in the front or the back, it really doesn't matter, I'm just going to do it in the front. So to bind off, you want to take that stitch on your left hand, pull it over, move it to your right, just like we were doing before. And the next one. So now you have two stitches on your right arm. To bind off, you're going to take that first stitch and pull it over and off of your hand. Tighten up just a little bit. Knit another stitch. Pull that first one off and over your hand. Or over your hand and off of your arm. Tighten up just a little bit. And do the next stitch. And you're going to keep doing this until you come to the end of your scarf. And the reason you don't want to do this too tight is you're going to have one skinny end and one larger end if you tighten it too much and you don't want that. And the last one. Okay. See how that ended your scarf? So now I just like to take that one more time through there. Tighten it up. And then you can go ahead and cut your working yarn. Um, not too short because we're going to have to sew the ends together using the tail. 
So I'd cut it about two feet long and then go ahead and pull it all the way through. So the last part of making your scarf is sewing the ends together to make it into an infinity scarf or a cowl. Um, so you want to fold it in half, okay? Match up the ends, line them up, and then you're gonna take the tail, the one that's longer, and you're gonna wrap it through the stitches. Um, I'm just gonna do this quickly. If you would like a detailed tutorial on how to sew the ends of your scarf, then I will put a link that you can click um, right here in the video. once you get to that last one don't pull it all the way through you're going to make a loop here and you're going to pull that tail through just like that and then tighten it as much as you can and then you can take this tail and weave it through um, all of the seam here that way it's less likely to come undone you can even do a second let's see I'm actually going to go here again. I'm going to grab this stitch. And I'm actually going to pull it through one more time. Just to create a better knot. That way you know it's not going to come undone. That's optional. So same with this one. Weave it through just like this. And weave this end through as well and that way it never comes undone and then you can flip it right side out and you're all done now I just wanted to add um, when I got to my ninth row my yarn got so tangled it took me probably 15 minutes to untangle my yarn so just um, try to keep an eye on it while you are arm knitting you know as as you go along just kind of try to untangle it a little bit so it doesn't get into a huge mess like mine did but that's it for now guys if you have any questions leave them below and I will do my best to answer them check out my blog simplymaggie.com for more patterns and pictures also you can find me on Facebook and Instagram and I'll put those links down below